what's up it's Leisha welcome back to our channel so today's video is going to be a hair tutorial on how to achieve this super ultra defined braid out you guys have requested multiple times that I go ahead and bring you all more hair tutorials so this is for you guys um, but I decided to go ahead and bring you guys my updated braid out routine because I have changed things up just a little bit um, so this video is very simple, very easy to follow. So I hope that you guys find this tutorial very straightforward and just um, all around helpful. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and kick this video off. All right, bye guys. So you guys, I went ahead and washed my hair using the Diva Curl No Flute Decadence and the Diva Curl One Condition Decadence. And I also do condition my hair using the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Oil Deep Conditioner, which is a holy, holy grail. I like to start my braid outs on freshly washed hair. So here I am and my hair is pretty much still damp. It's not soaking wet, but it is pretty damp. So I went ahead and put a right part in my hair, but of course the parting all depends on your preference. I personally like to work in medium sized sections, so I went ahead and just broke off, um, or not broke off, terrible term, <laughs> but I went ahead and sectioned my hair off in a um, just a medium sized section and pinned the rest of it back. So you want to make sure that your hair is still slightly damp and because my hair does dry very fast, I went ahead and spritzed my hair with some water. So now I'm just applying the Carolus Daughter Combing Cream. It's a great leave-in conditioner, it smells amazing and it's really easy to detangle and style your hair. Because you want this braid out to be very defined, go ahead and section off a smaller section of hair. And this will help with their braids to be more tight, more um, just more tight and more defined. And that's the key here. As my styler, I'll be using the Camaro's Naturals Almond Jai Twisting Butter. This stuff, you guys, is freaking amazing. It smells amazing. It just keeps your hair super luscious and moisturized and shiny. So this is all around a perfect, perfect styling cream. Um, so just go ahead and start braiding your hair, the typical three strand braid. Nothing special here, but um, you just want to make sure that the braids are tight as can be. And also there aren't any tangles throughout that braid. When I get to the end of the braid, I go ahead and just coil the ends on my finger and that is pretty much it. There is always the option of adding a perm mod to the bottom of your hair, but I just feel like that kind of just you know, takes away some of the length. So unless your hair doesn't curl at the end, I would suggest going ahead and just coiling it around your finger and calling it a day. So now just repeat those exact same steps throughout your entire head of hair. So of course making sure that your hair is damp, um, adding your leave-in and your styler and then beginning to braid as neatly and as tightly as you can.
this is how the braids look once I have completed the braid out. Um, I think I have about 20 or so braids in my hair. As you guys can see, they are nice and juicy. So I'm gonna go ahead and let my hair just kind of air dry overnight and then I'll come back in the morning and take them down. As you guys can see, it is the next morning and it is now time for the takedown process. So first things first, go ahead and put some kind of oil on, my, on your hands, whether it be coconut oil, whatever you prefer, go ahead and put some um, oil on your fingers and then go ahead and just rub it on the braids. This will help significantly reduce the amount of frizz that you guys have. I find that it makes a huge difference, so I really just encourage you guys to not skip this step. <laughs> So this step is fairly easy and straightforward, so go ahead and start unraveling the braids, but make sure that you guys are being very careful and very gentle at the takedown process because you guys don't want to cause any excess frizz. Um, I feel like that makes a huge difference in just the amount of definition that you guys get and the minimal amount of frizz that you guys will get. So just be careful, be patient, and just take your time. the braids look once you have unraveled them um, as you guys can see there's a lot of definition but there is a lack in volume so now it is time to start separating um, so just gently start separating the braids and that'll give your hair a lot of volume but if you're very careful you will still keep the definition Separating the braids make a world of a difference. I feel like it just makes the hair so much more voluminous. <laughs> so the last step of this entire process is to pick your hair out. Um, I just like to add a little bit more volume. So instead of picking out my entire head, it's pretty much focused on picking out the roots. And then I'll give my hair some lift without adding just any unnecessary frizz or disrupting the curls at all. So go ahead and just pick your hair out until you're satisfied and that is it. <laughs> So you guys, that's it for today's braid out tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy. If you guys did, please give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.